What do you know about Trump? Trump. He's a billionaire. He fights in WWE. Womanizing, uh, racist. Arrogant. Arrogant. And? Whenever uh, Bale Shravan is. So he's uh, a womanizer basically. He's a and bad person. He's not exactly a bad person, I would say, but he's, he's a stupid like person. Um, well, he's our president now, so. Oh, you are from the US? We're from yeah. the US. Yeah. 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 <laughs> have been living under a rock for the last few months, you know that there is a new POTUS in town who goes by the name of Donald J. Trump. Now just like my small sample, uh, most of the people out there have very negative perceptions of Trump. But do you know that he is one of the greatest salesmen of our time? I mean throughout his life he has been selling from real estate to books to games to a reality show uh, to a fake university. And he has even sold something that the government has banned. Trump steaks are by far the best tasting, most flavorful beef you've ever had. Trump is a master salesman and we all surely can learn a few things from him. I love you. Sorry? Don't be. I love you. Uh, you know, uh, possessing an inordinate and exotic vocabulary in your repertoire, it's a splendid thing if you're preparing for cat. But if you want to connect with the masses, if you want to connect with a large audience, then keep it simple. Not everyone out there has a great vocab and our human brains have difficulty in processing complex language and complex information. That's why keep it simple. And Trump, as you might have guessed, he is a master at this. Trump, now to see this, Trump is a 70 year old man and he speaks at the level of a fourth grader. He speaks at a fourth grade level. The very same crowds that are bored of the boring platitudes of a politician are entertained when listening to Trump. Because he doesn't go round and round, he comes to the point, he keeps, he uses simple words. We owe China 1.3 trillion dollars. We owe Japan more than that. How stupid are our leaders? How stupid are these politicians to allow this to happen? Your brand should always be defended, period. Whether it's your company brand or whether it's your personal brand, even if the facts are to the contrary, the brand needs to be defended, the brand needs to be protected. I mean, look at this. The soft drink companies, they still defend putting so much sugar in the soft drinks, even though you know it and I know it, that it's bad for health, but they still defend it. And that's what needs to be done. The brand has to be defended. Now look at the following clips where the interviewer tries to tries to needle Trump and Trump comes back. He makes sure that he defends his brand and he actually shines a light on it. He does it in like the best possible way. You've clearly had some big successes in the business world, but you've also had some big failures. And let's go straight. No, I don't think I've had big failures. Donald Trump has always been very, very successful. and. So when you say failures, I don't think I've had failures, but let's go ahead, ask me about a couple. Okay, Trump hotels and casinos filed right. for bankruptcy protection three times in six years. Okay, let me explain it to you, very simple. Isn't that a I, failure? Not really. I mean, look, it worked out very well for me. It's a joke that you weren't going to get anywhere, that you were a buffoon, you know it all. Okay, but now... I don't think they thought very, I was a buffoon. What kind of a statement is well, that? Well, some people I built did. a great company. Some people who didn't like you. best-selling books. I had one of I the understand. top television shows in television. No. Ignoring your competition is bad, but being a passive observer is also bad. You need to be aggressive towards your competition, right? Your, the, your competition needs to be afraid of you. Your competition needs to respect you. And Trump... Man, he takes it to a whole new level. He is not just aggressive towards his competition, he puts the fear of God in his competitors. His visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly. My goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? 
I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there that I can tell you. But Jake, Jake, I want matter you of are principle, the and, I'll, single and I'll tell biggest you. liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. This is a tough business oh, to run for oh, president. Oh, no, you're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is <laughs> real tough. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the let's presidency. Let's see, I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so Doesn't so matter. far I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far I'm doing better. You know, you started off over here, Jeb. You're moving over further and further. Pretty soon you're going to be off the end. This does do a thing. I feel sorry for those guys. Man, they could not even respond. They could not even respond. It was a public debate being watched by millions. Trump brutalized them. He pulverized them. Bam, bam, bam. This guy is king troll. I don't have any competition. I've not come here to compete. I've come here to rule. Now there is a fine line between being modest and being an asshole. And you need to traverse this line. Being modest means you know you are the shit, but you will not market yourself. Being an asshole means you are not even confident in your abilities, but you still keep on telling everyone how great you are non-stop. Now, Trump being the narcissist that he is, he cannot help himself. He keeps venturing into this wrong extreme, and that's why people make fun of him. I went to an Ivy League school. I'm very highly educated. I know words. I have the best words. You know, I'm like a smart person. The beauty of me is that I'm very rich. I'm really rich. Haven't we all heard that saying? If you have it, flaunt it. Come on, say, we're behind our back. Kacha papad, kacha papad. Kacha papad, kacha papad. Kacha papad, kacha papad. Now this is something that you must be aware of because that's how we pass our exams. If you want to put an idea in your mind or if you want to put an idea in someone else's mind, then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it multiple times and Trump is the granddaddy of repetition look at the next clip and count how many times he uses a particular word in this interview we don't win anymore we don't win anymore in our country Sean we don't win anymore we used to win we don't win anymore we don't win with trade we don't win with war we, don't, we can't even beat ISIS and we're gonna win if I win I will tell you if I win we all win because we are gonna win so if you are an average viewer and you see some of his interviews like that four or five times, what do you think you are going to associate with Trump? Winning. That's how our brains work. And he did win. Now Trump is a master of another art. Some people are born with it naturally. Others learn it at their college, at their workplace. And it is called the art of now see, this is not a bad thing. All of us bullshit from time to time. In our exams, in our presentations, in our meetings, in our interviews with the boss. We all bullshit from time to time. Do you know why? Because rather than selling the product, what matters more is selling the idea of the product. Selling the feeling of owning that product. That is much more important. And this is in a nutshell how Trump won. He was a salesman selling the idea of a great America to a frustrated voter base. That's all he did. No specific policies, no specific plan. He was a salesman selling a feeling. We are going to do something so good and so fast and so strong and the world is going to respect us again. Believe me. We're going to win with every single facet. We're going to win so much you may even get tired of winning and you'll say, please, please, it's too much winning. We can't take it anymore. I'm really a good businessman. I'm so good at business. Oh, you people are going to be so rich so fast. You don't even. I wonder how would we behave if something like that happened in India? Uh, let's move on. out there is boring it's boring AF if you can show some flamboyance 
charisma, style, showmanship, you pull way ahead of the competition. I mean a combination of a simple message coupled with some swag. It, it's the holy grail. In the next clip you will see how Trump makes a grand entry onto the stage uh, for his nomination acceptance speech. And you will... Hey, hey wait a minute. Why was the... Why was the main clip the intro clip for this segment?